DNA modifying enzymes. DNA modifying enzymes, restriction enzymes and DNA leakies represent the cutting and joining functions in DNA manipulation. All other enzymes involved in genetic engineering fall under the broad category of enzymes known as DNA modifying enzymes. These enzymes are involved in the degradation, synthesis and alteration of nucleic acids. DNA leakies is an important cellular enzyme as its function is to repair broken phosphodiester bones that may occur at random or as a consequence of DNA replication or recombination. In genetic engineering, it is used to seal discontinuities in the sugar phosphate chain that arise when recombinant DNA is made by joining DNA molecules from different sources. It can therefore be thought of as molecular glue, which is used to stick pieces of DNA together. This function is crucial to the success of many experiments and DNA ligase is therefore a key enzyme in genetic engineering. <clears throat> the enzyme used most often in experiments is T4 DNA ligase, which is purified from the E. coli cells infected with bacteriophage T4. Although the enzyme is most efficient when sealing gaps in fragments that are held together by cohesive ends, it will also join blunt enter DNA molecules together and appropriate conditions. T4 DNA ligase catalyzes the formation of a phosphodiester bone between juxtaposed 5 prime phosphate and 3 prime hydroxyl termini in duplex DNA or RNA. The enzymes repair a DNA st single standard NICs in duplex DNA, RNA or RNA DNA hybrids. It also joins DNA fragments with either cohesive or blunt termini but has no activity on single-stranded nucleic acids. The T4 DNA ligase requires ATP as a cofactor. Methylase, DNA polymerase, nuclease, ligase, kinase and phosphatases are major types. Cutting, modifying and joining DNA requires enzymes which are catalytic protein molecules purified from wide range of cell types and are available from commercial suppliers. So three main groups are there, DNA modifying enzymes, restriction endonuclease and DNA ligase. So restriction endonuclease that cut DNA at defined recognition sites and are used for generating DNA fragments and re restriction mapping. Then DNA modifying enzymes such as nuclease, polymerase, enzymes that act on termini. Then nuclease is of two types, endonucleases, exonucleases. Endonuclease is just a restriction enzyme, nuclease 1. Then in exonuclease, BAL31, XO3. RNA polymerase, um, polymerase such as RNA, DNA polymerase, clinofragment reverse transcriptase. Enzymes that act on terminase such as alkaline phosphatase, polynucleotide kinase, terminal transferase. <clears throat> then DNA ligase which joins DNA molecules, phosphodiester linkage to generate recombinant DNA. Methylase. Just as the study of the bacterial restriction modification system has provided a variety of specific endonucleases, there are also available a variety of specific DNA methylases. The recognition sequences of methylase are the same as the associated endonuclease, eco ri methylase recognized cis and methylase at the sequence. All methylase transfer the medial group from S adenosyl methionine to specific base in the recognition sequence. The S adenosyl methionine is required component in the methylation reaction. Methylation of DNA usually has the effect of protecting the DNA from the related or restriction endonuclease. However, there are methylase with minimal specificity. For example, SSS1 methylase will methylate cytosin residues in the sequence, cyte prime PG3 prime. In this case, the methylated DNA will be protected from a wide variety of restriction endonuclease. Some restriction endonuclease will only cut DNA at their restriction sites. If the DNA is methylated, DPNY, still other restriction endonuclease will cut both methylated and non-methylated DNA at their restriction sequences, BAM-H1. Then DAM and DCM methylation, 
The methylase encoded by the DAM gene, DAM methylase, transfers a methyl group from SAM to the N6 position of the adenine base in the sequence 5 prime GATC 3 prime. The methylase encoded by the DCM gene, DCM methylase, methylates the internal cytosine base at the C5 position in the sequence 5 prime, 3 prime, and 5 prime to 3 prime. Almost all strains of E. coli commonly used in cloning have a DAM plus DAM, DCM plus genotype. This point here is not that we particularly want our DNA to be methylated, but that to make a DAM DCM host, someone has to mutate the bacteria and isolate the correct mutant. That apparently has not been done for a lot of bacterial strains, probably because the DAM and the DCM methylation effort affects only a small subset of potential restriction endonuclease. DNA isolated from DAM plus DCM plus strains will not actually be cut to a modest subset of available restriction endonuclease. Restriction sequences, restriction enzyme, then GATC, GMEATC. CL, MBO1, CLA, XBA, THQ, MBO2, HM, HPH1. DNA may have to be prepared from E. coli strains which are DAM, DCM in order to be cut by these enzymes. And then polymerases. Polymerase enzymes synthesize copies of nucleic acid molecules and are used in many genetic engineering products, procedures. When describing a polymerase enzyme, the term DNA dependent or RNA dependent may be used to indicate the type of nucleic acid template that the enzyme uses. DNA polymerase 1, the enzyme DNA polymerase 1 has in addition to its polymerase function 5' prime to 3' prime and 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease activities. The enzyme catalyzes a strand replacement action, reaction where the 5' prime and 3' prime exonuclease function degrades the non-template strand as the polymerase synthesis of the new copy. A major use of this enzyme is in the NIC translation procedure for radio labeling DNA. The 5 prime, 3 prime exonuclease function of DNA polymerase 1 can be removed by cleaning the enzyme to produce what is known as the Clenow fragment. Clenow fragment. This retains the polymerase and 3 prime, 5 prime exonuclease activities. The Clenow fragment. is produced exonuclease function of dna polymerase 1 can be removed by cleaving the enzyme to produce what is known as a cleno fragment the cleno fragment is used where a single stranded dna molecule need to be copied because the 5 prime and 3 prime exonuclease function is missing the enzyme cannot degrade the non template strand of ds dna during synthesis of the new dna the 3 prime 5 prime exonuclease activity is suppressed under the conditions normally used for the reaction major uses of clono fragment include radio labeling by primer synthesis and dna sequencing by the d dioxy method in addition to the copying of single stranded dnas during the production of recombinants a modified form of dna polymerase one called the clono fragment is a useful Polymerase that is used widely in a number of applications. Reverse transcriptase RTA is an RNA dependent DNA polymerase and therefore produces a DNA strand from an RNA template. It has no associated exonuclease activity. The enzyme is used mainly for coating mRNA molecules in the preparation of cDNA, complementary or copy DNA for cloning, although it will also act on DNA templates. A wide variety of polymerase have been characterized and are commercially available. All DNA polymerase share two general characteristics. They add nucleotides to the 3' OH end of a primer. The order of nucleotides in the nascent polynucleotide is template directed. DNA RNA primer is there, DNTP incorporation, DNA polymerase, DNA RNA template. In addition to the 5' prime to 3' prime polymerase activity, Polymerase can contain exonuclease activity. This exonuclease activity can proceed either in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction or in 3' prime to 5' prime direction. Exonuclease activity in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction allows the polymerase to correct a mistake if it incorporates an incorrect nucleated so-called error correction activity. It can also slowly degrade the 3' prime end of primer. Exonuclease activity in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction will allow it to degrade any other hybridized primer it may encounter without 5 prime greater than 3 prime exonuclease activity 
obstructant primers may and may not be physically displayed placed depending on the polymerase being used different polymerase are offering error rates of miss incorporation and different rates of polymerization e coli dna polymerase 1 e coli dna polymerase 1 clino segment t4 dna polymerase then t7 dna polymerase tac dna polymerase mml mulb 2s transcriptase oxonuclease activity and exonuclease activity and error rate then uses of polymerase the various activities of the different polymerase lend them to a variety of applications for example restriction endonuclease can yield fragments of dna with either 3 prime or 5 prime exonucleotide overhangs in the case of 5 prime overhangs the 5 prime to 3 prime over polymerase activity can fill this into make blunt ends in the case of 3 prime overhangs the 3 prime greater than 5 prime exonuclease activity present in some polymerase especially t4 dna polymerase can chew back these ends to also make blunt end dna fragments the 5 prime overhang sticky ends from eco r1 cleaves 5 prime greater than 3 prime polymerase activity sticky end filled into yield blunt ended fragment 3 prime overhang sticky end from kpm1 cleaved 3 prime greater than 5 prime exonuclease activity of polymerase sticky and chewed back to yield blunt ended fragment the nick translation this method is used to obtain highly radio labeled single stranded DNA fragments which makes use of 5 prime greater than 3 prime exonuclease activity present in some polymerases e coli dna polymerase 1 for example in this method a dna duplex of interest is nicked one of the strand is cut cdna is one then dna pole 1 is added along with radio labeled nucleotide the 3 5 prime greater than 3 prime exonuclease activity keys away the 5 prime ends at the nick site and polymerase activity incorporates the radio labeled nucleotide the resulting polynucleotide will be highly radio labeled and will hybridize to the dna sequence of interest then duplex dna with the nick 5 prime with polymerase activity plus 5 prime 3 prime exonuclease activity production of highly radio labeled oligonucleotides in the most stable polymerases have the ability to remain functional at temperature ranges where the dna duplex will actually melt and become separate this has allowed the development of the polymerase chain reaction technique which has had a profound impact on modern biotechnology we will discuss this method at later date at a later date the incorporation of dideoxy bases no hydroxyl groups on either three prime two prime or three prime carbon of the ribose sugar leads to termination of polymerase reaction the incorporation of dideoxy bases no hydroxyl groups on either two or three carbon of the ribose sugar leads to termination of the polymerase reaction however this chain termination by incorporation of dideoxy nucleotides is the basis of the sanger method of dna sequencing as well as therapies to try to inhibit viral replication reverse transcriptase is a key enzyme in the generation of cdna the enzyme is a rna dependent dna polymerase which produces a dna copy of an mrna molecule the nucleus band 31 this is an exonuclease starts as the termine and works inward it will degrade both 3 prime and 5 prime termine of double standard dna it will not make internal cleavage or nicks however it will degrade the ends of dna at the existing internal mix which creates both 3 prime and 5 prime termine the degradation of termine is not coordinated meaning that the product is not the degradation of termina is not coordinated meaning that the product is not 100 percent blunt ended even though the original duplex may have been blunt ended such ragged ends ragged ends can be made blunt by filling in and chewing back by a suitable polymerase t4 dna polymerase the unit definition of one unit is the amount of enzyme required to remove 200 base pairs from each end of duplex dna in 10 minutes at 30 degree celsius duplex with internal nick potentially rugged termine potentially rugged termine so exonuclease 3 catalyze is the stepwise removal of nucleotides from the 3 prime hydroxyl termine of duplex dna 
The enzyme will attack the 3' hydroxyl at duplex DNA with blend ends with 5' overhangs or with internal nicks. Since duplex DNA is required, the enzyme will not digest the 3' end of duplex DNA where the termini are 3' overhangs. Then duplex with blend end or 5' overhang, duplex with 3' overhang and internal nick. Exonuclease 3 activity. Mung Mung bean nucleus isolated from mung bean sprouts. A single stranded specific DNA and RNA endonuclease which will degrade single strand extension from the ends of DNA and RNA being blunt ends. The single strand extension can be either 5' prime or 3' prime extensions. Both are removed and a blunt duplex is left. Duplex with 5' prime overhang, duplex with 3' prime overhang, duplex with blunt ends. Deoxyribonuclease 1, DNA is 1. From bovine pancreas, this enzyme hydrolyzes duplex or single DNA strands preferentially at the phosphodiest bones 5' to pyridine nucleotides. In the presence of Mg2 plus ion, DNA is attacks each strand independently and produces nicks in a random fashion. Use for full nick translation and the presence of Mg2 plus ion DNA is one place both strands of DNA at appropriately the same position but leaving rug ends. Then ligases. Ligases catalyze the formation of phosphatized bone between the extra post 5' prime phosphate and 3' prime hydroxyl termini of nucleotides, potentially DNA or RNA depending on their the ligase. In a sense, they are the opposite of restriction and nucleus, but they do not appear to be influenced by the local sequence per SE. Ligase require either R A T P or N A D plus as a cofactor and thus constructs with restriction and nucleus. The following are different types of ligases and their characteristics. T4 DNA ligase isolated from bacteriophage T4 will ligate the ends of duplex DNA or RNA. This enzyme will join blunt end termini as well as ends with cohesive or complementary overhanging ends, either 3' prime or 5' prime complementary overhangs. This enzyme will also repair single stranded nicks in duplex DNA, RNA or RNA DNA duplexes, requires ATP as a cofactor. Then TAC DNA ligase. This ligase will catalyze a phosphodiester bone between two adjacent oligonucleotides which are hydrolyzed to a complementary DNA strand. TAC DNA ligase activity. The ligation is efficient only if the oligonucleotides hybridize preferentially perfectly with the template strand. The enzyme is activated at a relatively high temperature. Requires NAD plus as a cofactor. Then T4 RNA ligase will catalyze the formation of a phosphodized bond between RNA and RNA oligonucleotides, RNA DNA oligonucleotides or RNA DNA, I am sorry, DNA DNA oligonucleotides require ATP as a cofactor. This enzyme does not require a template strand. T4 RNA ligase can be used for a variety of purposes including constructing RNA DNA hybrid molecules. So DNA RNA, DNA RNA, then T4 RNA ligase activity, DNA ligase E. coli will cat catalyze a phosphodized bond between the duplex DNA containing cohesive ends. It will not definitely ligate blunt ended fragments, require NAD plus as a cofactor. Then enzymes that modify the ends of DNA molecules. The enzyme alkaline phosphatase, polynucleotide kinase and terminal transferase act on the termini of DNA molecule and provide important functions that are used in a variety of ways. The phosphatase and kinase enzyme, as their name suggests, are involved in the removal of an addition, removal or addition of phosphate groups. Bacterial alkaline phosphatase, there is also a similar enzyme, calf intestinal alkaline phosphatase, removes phosphate groups from the five ends of DNA, leaving a 5OH group. The enzyme is used to prevent unwanted ligation of DNA molecules, which can be a problem in certain cloning procedures. It is also used prior to the addition of radioactive phosphate to the five, five ends of DNA by polynucleotide kinase terminal transferase. Terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase repeatedly adds nucleotides to any available three minuses. Although it works best in producing protruding three ends, conditions can be adjacent so that blunt ended or three resist molecules may be utilized. The enzyme is mainly used to add homopolymer traits tails to DNA molecules prior to the construction of recombinants. Then T4 polynucleated kinase catalyzes the transfer and exchange of a phosphate group from the deposition of a RATP adenine ribose triphosphate nucleated to the 5' deoxy 
dioxyl terminus of double stranded and single stranded DNA or RNA and nucleotide 3 monophosphates. The enzyme will also remove 3 prime phosphoryl group. Oligonucleotides are obtained from automated synthesizers, lack a 5 prime phosphate group and thus cannot be ligated to other polynucleotides. T4 polynucleate kinase can be used to phosphorylate the 5 prime end of such polynucleotides. Cuff intestinal phosphatase catalyzes the removal of 5 prime phosphate groups from RNA, DNA, and ribo and deoxyribonucleoside triphosphate. CIP treated duplex DNA cannot be cannot self ligate. Hemi phosphorylated duplexes will be ligated on one strand, the phosphorylated strand, and remain ligated on the other. First fragment cannot self ligate, ligase. Nicked duplex.